Hello, artists! Welcome back to another Art Life Conversations podcast. I'm your host, artist, uh, teacher, author, host of this podcast, Kelly Folsom. And I'm so excited that you are joining me again here today. Um, And really, we're going to be continuing on our little series here, our big series of how to be a successful artist. And the focus... um, I'm going to continue on with the focus of return on investment. Are you getting a return on your investments, okay, in your art career, in your art business? And um, so we're going to get ready because we're going to dive into some really, really juicy stuff. And as always, I'm going to challenge all of you to, to really maybe contemplate some things you haven't contemplated before. Because listen, I've been through some shit. You know, it's like, why listen to me? Well, because I have been through so much stuff, especially over the last, since being an artist, since 2011, being a full-time artist and learning how to, um, you know, make, make an art business successful and also maintain the joy of creating, right? And, and maintain all of that. So, um, in this video, we're going to be diving into, um, and in this podcast, we're going to be diving into other types of in- investments, investments that don't um, have a dollar sign necessarily attached to them, right? So without further ado, let's go, let's go. So the main problem that I see, other than what I talked about in the last podcast, where uh, where we tend to confuse investment with spending, right? So that's the main thing, just different, learning how to differentiate, is this spending or is this investing, right? Um, so that's the primary reframe and rethink that we need to do. The secondary reframe about investing is just stripping away like anything can be an investment, right? It doesn't have to have a dollar sign attached to it. And, you know, I would say th- also kind of uh, further on that is like, I actually see dollar signs attached to things that don't have dollar signs attached to them. And I'll explain to you what I mean. (laughs) But first, like, so, so one of those is time, right? Like how we use our time. Most, most of the time we don't have a dollar sign attached to our time, right? We wake up in the morning. We're not thinking about our minutes, our hours, you know, our day is necessarily having a dollar sign attached to it. And, you know, I want to invite all of you to consider to start to think about it that way. Start to think about your, how valuable your time is. You know, it's interesting how much emphasis we put on money, right? On that dollar sign. We put so much emphasis on that symbol, the dollar sign symbol, right? And really most of us are not, Um, utilizing another resource that is actually of huge value, which is time, which is time. How can we leverage our time? How can we use our time better? So time, time is really such a limited resource. Um, Each day, you know, we only get so much time. So I would just invite all of you to consider attaching a dollar sign to what's the value of my time? What do I think the value of my time is? Is it $100 an hour? Is it $50 an hour? Is it $1,000 an hour? You know, um, how do I really think about the value of my time and how do I value it? The other thing is focus, right? Focus and energy. Each of us every single day really have a limited amount of focus and energy, right? And so again, attaching a dollar sign to those things can be a huge mental shift for us so that we can start to really think more about where we are investing, investing our time, our focus, our energy, right? So, and also I would say our thoughts, right? Like our thoughts, our emotions, how do we feel, (laughs) right? So thoughts, emotions, like what thoughts and emotions are we investing in on a day-to-day basis, right? And um, why solve this problem? Well, 
why to really solve this and really to master this, to master your investments around your time, your focus, your energy, your thoughts, your emotions. The reason why you want to master that is because when you gain really greater mastery, you become like a time ninja of, you know, you become like this Jedi of focus and energy, um, you know, then you're able to do more, right? You're able to create more beautiful work. You're able to um, have more impact. You're able to accomplish more in less time, right? Because you've, you're becoming a master of all of those things and you're really mastering where you're investing that in. And I can tell you that the most successful artists, and I get asked all the time, like, Kelly, how do you get so much done? How do you get so much shit done? Kelly, how do you have the energy to do all of this stuff, to do a podcast, to paint paintings, to teach students online, to coach people, you know? And I would say it's really been a journey of, of looking at these invisible things that don't have a dollar sign attached to them, time, focus, energy, my thoughts, my emotions, really looking at all of these invisibles, right, that all of us are living with, and they're more concrete than anything, really, in my mind, at this point, all of us are living with these things every single day, and really looking at, the, at those and going, where, where am I putting my investment, right, and what kind of return on that investment am I getting back, right? So the only reason why I have been able to make more than a million dollars in my business in the last couple of years and, you know, last year uh, annually gross just made more than $525,000. The only reason why I've been able to do that, you guys, while staying a sane and happy person for the most part <laughs> every day, right? Like all of us have our shit, all of us have our um, issues and our problems and all of that. But the reason why I've been able to do that um, regularly, you know, consistently is because of mastering these things. So I really want to invite all of you to consider, first of all, just just as you're going throughout your day today, you know, just raising your awareness around your thoughts, your emotions, what you're choosing to think, what you're choosing to feel, how you're choosing to use your time, right? Um, how quickly are you burning through your focus and your energy and why is that, right? Like, are you burning through focus and energy because you're not feeding yourself good things, whether that's food, whether that's really most of the time it's good thoughts, good feelings, doing things that fuel your energy rather than drain your energy and focus, right? Um, so just, I want to invite all of you in order to begin to solve this problem, right? Just start to bring your awareness to it and really think about the choices that you're making throughout the day. All of us are faced every single day with these small, seemingly insignificant choices, right? Like, should I check my email right now or should I go make myself a cup of tea and plan my day, <laughs> right? One of those is going to um, have a much higher return on your investment, right? So having a cup of tea, sitting down for 10 minutes and really planning out like these are my top three priorities for the day before I check social media, before I check email, right? Um, that is going to have such a, that just increases my focus for the day. It, it gets me focused immediately on what is the top priorities? Like what are the things that are going to feed my energy, fuel my energy and give me the most return on my time investment? Okay, so I try to really make sure like, are these things that I just committed to that I'm saying today is the day that I'm going to film podcasts. Today is the day that I'm going to paint that painting or I'm going to invest two hours at the easel, right? And are those the most important things? Are those the most important things? So versus like just letting the day happen to you. And if you start your day out just by opening up email and read an email that maybe immediately gets you into that reactive, responsive mode. Now you're just putting out fires and paying attention to everybody else and all their problems and what they need from you and what, you know, what they're asking you to do, right? Then 
immediately you're starting your whole day off, you know, by just, you know, what my top priorities are are not important. Let me just look externally and not really value my time and attention and maybe just give a bunch of my time and attention and energy away. Same thing with like mindlessly scrolling on social media, you know? For me, like I don't even have the apps accessible on my phone, right? Like I, well, they're on there, but I have to go into the app store. Anyways, it's very difficult for me to get to those apps. So I have specific times of day where I will do activities like that, where I'll check in on social media, where I'll uh, most of the time, you know, be supporting the artists who are in my community, right? To me, that's that fuels my energy more. Like if I am giving feedback, um, and it's a greater return on my investment because I'm nurturing my customers, right? I'm nurturing the people who are in my community. I would much rather do that, and it makes me really feel good. Like, okay, I'm serving, I'm in service, I'm supporting. That makes me feel so much better than like scrolling on social media and going, oh, well, now I feel like shit about myself because this person just went on this big art event and they got a big award, and look, they got their photos taken with da 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 da, right? Like this one over, this is going to drain my energy possibly, depending on who you are, um, and just distract me and get me in like comparison and get me into shiny object syndrome and fear of missing out. And oh, why don't I get to go do anything fun? <laughs> so, but the point being is like every single moment, right? All of these things are choices that we are making. Um, so just pay attention, like, what am I choosing? What am I choosing right here and now in this moment? Like right here and now for me in this moment, I'm choosing to show up and to try to share, you know, the wisdom that I've learned from mistakes I've made, right? And, and uh, growth that I've experienced by gaining more mastery over my time, mastery over my thoughts, mastery over my emotions, right? Uh, mastery over my my agenda for the day, my to-do list for, the, for today. Like not everything needs to get done right now. <laughs> not everything is equally important, right? So for, and also, you know, if I choose to think like, let's say negative thoughts, like, and, and again, I'm not saying that negative thoughts are bad and wrong and and we should only be Pollyanna positive all the time. That's not what I'm saying. Um, but really think about the thoughts. You know, is this a thought that's going to give give me a return on my investment? You know, how does thinking that thought make me feel? Then what what happens with that thought? How do I react? You know, what do I do or not do? You know, so if you're feeling like negative because you haven't painted, like you're you're criticizing yourself because you keep procrastinating showing up at the easel, right? And pushing some paint around and getting that brush mileage in, right? Those of you who work with me online know what I'm talking about <laughs> with the brush mileage. So if you are, you know, criticizing yourself and kind of beating yourself up because you've been procrastinating that, well, it's just a thought that doesn't serve you. And it's an activity that doesn't serve you beating yourself up, you know, whereas instead, if you could say in this moment right here now, I'm going to accept that I have procrastinated showing up at the easel you know, for five days or however long it is for you, right? And I am choosing to forgive myself. I am choosing to forgive myself and I'm choosing to move on. And guess what else I'm choosing? I am going to the easel right now and whatever, I'm going to paint whatever. I don't care what it is. I'm going to paint, you know, or I'm going to create that, that work of art. I'm going to continue that piece I started. Or I'm going to finish that piece I started. Okay. So these are very tiny, minuscule choices that when you make them, there is either, you are either getting a negative return on your investment or you are getting a super, you know, high return on your investment, right? So very simple example there. We've all been in that situation, right? Where we have maybe put off working on our craft, working on our art, or it could be even like sending sending that email newsletter, right? Or reaching, reaching out to that person who inquired about a commission, right? So we've all been in those situations where we procrastinated things 
And yeah, we do kind of feel crappy about ourselves for that usually, right? Like, why am I not doing that? You know, and really that doesn't serve you to even try to figure out why, right? Like we, you don't need to fix yourself. I don't need to fix myself. I don't need to sit around and analyze. I know this is challenging. I still fall into these traps too, you guys. So when I say all of this, like know that it comes from my own personal experience and my own personal struggle and challenges, and it's totally no judgment whatsoever. Um, so, but that would be my number one tip um, at the end of this video is really just to pay attention. Again, really thinking like, what is the return? on this investment, on this choice that I'm making. And really looking at those thoughts, feelings, um, you know, what what your, cho your, your actions that are either draining or filling your energy. Um, you know, really making choices and realizing like though all these things, my time use, all these things are investments as well. It's not just a dollar sign. And in fact, these things, right, these invisible, uh, things tend to actually have a higher dollar sign attached to them than just, you know, the dollars in your bank account. And actually, when you master these invisible things, right, the focus, the energy, your time, um, your emotions, your thoughts, when you master those things, I guarantee you that the dollar signs in your bank account are going to go up by default, OK, because you're going to be doing the shit that matters and not be frittering your life away over little nonsensical things and wasting all of your time and energy and draining your energy and giving your time away to everybody and and um, choosing shitty thoughts that don't serve you. Right. Um, so I guarantee you, if you master that and you really see them as an investment, you take them that seriously, as seriously as most of us take the dollars in our bank account, right? And what we choose to spend the money on. So many people take that so seriously and they need to be taking all of these invisible investments more serious. Okay, my friends. Um, I hope that this has been helpful to you. I'm always here to serve. Be sure to reach out, of course, if you have any questions, any feedback on the podcast, any ideas, you know, th topics that you are needing support around. Um, or advice around, feel free to shoot me an email at info at artlifewithkelly, K-E-L-L-I dot com and put in the subject line podcast topic. Let us know your thoughts. We love hearing from you. Um, other than that, check out all the show notes below where you can participate in any and all of the things that I have available for artists. So multiple things. So just check it out and see if there's anything there that resonates with you. And I will talk to you next week. Happy creating. Bye.